I want to know, are you the type of person who loves video games, wants to reach a greater number of people, let's say build a community, and are you the type of person who yearns to express themselves creatively in any way, really? If you said yes to any of those questions, I have the video for you. My name is Spencer, also known on YouTube as Squunkle. I have been a content creator and a YouTube streamer for just about a year now. I think as of today, it's more along the lines of 360 days, but it doesn't really matter who's, who's, who's counting. I started this channel because I, like probably many of you, answered yes to those questions in, in the beginning of the video. I wanted to build a community. I love video games. Most of all, I wanted a creative outlet to express myself. At the time that I created this channel, um, I was working a job that I really didn't like. Still don't like it, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I felt very drained and that I needed to sort of, I guess, expend that negative energy and put it into something productive, something that I liked but also something that would get me interacting with people on a regular basis who weren't coworkers. I also started it because I deal with what's called major depressive disorder. For me, at least, I experience it like a chronic depression and I also have pretty bad anxiety as well. So this was, it started out as sort of an experiment to get me outside of my comfort zone, get me talking to people, start creating something that I really liked. It's probably been the best decision that I've ever made. And I'm very grateful for the people who have stuck with me kind of along the road. We started out at around 12 subscribers. Now we're at 146. Whether that's a lot depends on, I guess, your perspective. But for me, I do feel very successful in the sense that there are people who are seeing my stuff. And you can have that too. <laughs> what I wanted to do was in my year of, of learning and new beginnings in, in the content creation and streaming sphere, I wanted to provide five lessons that I have learned within the year that I have started creating content and streaming on YouTube. If any of this resonates with you, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. My hope is that this video resonates with you somehow or something that I say is meaningful to you. Maybe it encourages you to start streaming or creating content or just makes you want to stick around and see what we do. I want to authentically show up to you all and, and, and give advice that I have, but also let you know that I'm also a work in progress when it comes to any of these lessons. So the first, lesson that I wanted to talk about that I have learned is that it's okay to suck. When a lot of people start out, they set the bar for themselves super duper high. They have this expectation like, oh, I have to be dazzling people right out the gate. They have to worry about every little detail of the video so it can be successful. What I've found, especially when starting out, is that's not the case. It's okay to suck. If you look at my first few videos, a lot of my early videos really suck. <laughs> it's just not engaging. It's not interesting to watch. It just kind of, the videos just kind of meander. They go whatever which way. It's still a problem that I'm dealing with. That is to say, creating content that is engaging and meaningful to people, which is probably my ultimate goal in this whole endeavor, other than to turn this into a full-time career. So just know that when you're starting out, the chances are whatever you make, it, may, it might not be the best, but that's okay. As long as you keep making stuff and you learn, from your mistakes. You take feedback whenever it's given to you, even the negative feedback. Just keep posting, keep learning from what you're doing, and eventually you will begin to make more stuff that you're more proud of. The second lesson I have for you is you should be responding to people who want to engage with you, whether it's in the comments, if you're a streamer, if they're in your chat. Where I most encounter people is in stream and chat and the video comments. It is incredibly important for you to let people know that you appreciate them or you appreciate their support. In return, I feel like that helps the other person, the person who's making that comment or is typing in that chat, helps them feel more important. They're getting that attention, they feel listened to. And really that's kind of the base of all relationships ever. It's just listening to people, being interested in what they have to say. Generally, like people wanna feel seen and they want to feel heard. I give myself a 24 hour limit. I try to do it as soon as possible. And when you're streaming, someone's talking, you just talk back to them. You're already usually in a room alone talking to yourself. You might as well share that moment with someone else. It's important to them and, and speaking for myself, it's important to me to get to talk to people who have shared interest and cared enough to click 
on my stream. Just make sure you're responding to people within a timely manner and because they wanna engage with you, it's gonna help you, I feel, retain more community members who care about what you're doing. The third lesson, packaging really does matter. I'm talking about thumbnails and I'm talking about titles. The outer shell of the video content and the reason why packaging is so important is because it is basically the whole reason why someone would want to click on your video in the first place. Other than it being, let's say, a topic that they might be interested in, but even then, if your thumbnail or your title is not good, no one's gonna want to click on that video in the first place or no one's gonna want to watch that stream in the first place. And, and I know some people might feel that the current way thumbnails and titles are done on YouTube is a bit derivative. It can seem a bit phony. What I think is so important to realize within that sort of realization is it might seem that way, but you can adapt the way that you do your titles and your thumbnails in a way that's friendly to potential viewers and is also something that you might enjoy. So put the time and effort in into crafting a good, well, Hold on. When it comes to doing your titles, it's important to keep it concise. It's important to let your audience know exactly what the video is gonna be about. The same thing is, is pretty similar to the thumbnail, though with the thumbnail, you wanna make it look at least interesting enough so that viewers will wanna click on your video. I'm still learning, honestly, how to do that myself. When I talk about these lessons that I've learned, by no means am I perfect at any of these yet. Make sure to put the time and effort needed into perfecting your your packaging for your videos. My fourth lesson is you should take risks, you should be experimental, and you should see what your audience wants. A lot of the time when you're starting out, it can be very daunting to even decide what you're gonna post. I decided that I, there, there are games that I enjoy, but I like to have a good variety because otherwise I think I feel boxed in. I get burnt out on games if I play them too much. What I don't wanna convey to audience members is that I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. If I'm not enjoying what I'm doing, audience members sure as hell won't enjoy what, what what's going on as well. The important thing I think here is to just kind of throw things at the wall and see what sticks. You can play different games or you can play one game. You have to kind of find out what works for you. If you are playing one game, I'd say within that game, try a bunch of different forms of content. Try doing challenges, try doing more narrative focused videos of that game. You really have to have to decide for yourself what's good and then once you have that feedback from your audience, keep doing that because this, this channel is as much for you as it is for the people who are watching you. Ultimately, it's not a very fulfilling hobby or career, wherever stage you're at, if there's not really anyone watching. What makes streaming and creating content important for me is getting to talk to people who share the same interests. It's a really wonderful thing. It feels really good when you have someone who sticks around, who shows up to multiple streams, or at least comes back to the next one. The last lesson that I have for you is to just not overthink. You just gotta go live. When it comes to going live or to posting a video, don't overthink it. You just gotta get stuff out there. And from there, it just kind of snowballs. I remember procrastinating a lot when I was first starting out. I had my computer and my peripherals. I was nervous and I wanted to make a good first impression. That's not to say that first impressions are not important. They are very important. If you are trying to perfect everything and if you're trying to make everything clean and flawless, it's very hard to show up authentically. Wherever you are right now, if you have three monitors and like a supercomputer, or if you just have a, a laptop, that's gonna feel, I think, more authentic. And it's gonna be more rewarding for you and your audience to see how you continue to grow. You just gotta go live and get the experience. And from there, just keep an eye out for ways that you can improve if people have feedback listen to them, and hopefully you're making something that is important to you and your audience. I wanted to make this video in particular because I, for one, am very grateful for the support that I've been shown in the comments, in the stream chat, and seeing the numbers grow in terms of whether it was subscribers, uh, video views. Within all that, I think I 
have not been showing up authentically. I have trouble putting down my walls. It's very important for me to make a good impression on people, but that can sometimes get in the way of just showing who I am as a person, what I believe in. So I'm hoping again that this video will, will resonate with some of you, will speak to you in some way, will be meaningful, and that we can sort of see eye to eye on this. My ultimate goal is to is to show you kind of who I am and hopefully assist you in in some way. I want this to be of value to you. Speaking of giving you value, I very much appreciate feedback. So on this video or any stream or video I do in the future, please let me know down below in the comments or in the chat if you have any feedback for me. What am I doing well? What do you want to see? What am I what can I improve on? I want to create stuff that means something and whether that's because it resonated with you or it made you laugh when you were in a bad place I, I hope that something like this is, is is of some value to you I'm just kind of rambling at this point so I'll, I'll stop <laughs> but um, again, I appreciate all the support. Thank you everyone who's even just clicked on one of my videos in the past year. This has been a, a great year for me in terms of learning um, and growing more comfortable with myself. And I hope that I can continue to show up like this where I'm being honest with you about my thoughts on things. If you like what you see at all, whether it's here or in a stream or a, a gaming video, please feel free to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment comment, share it, you know, everything that YouTubers tell you to do. <laughs> and I hope to see you on the next video.